Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Husko. I'm the host of Soccer Pro FC. And to this video, I'm going to be doing a list of four players that I think at Tricolor should never come back. And uh, I think I'm going to get a lot of hate for some players that I picked on this list. But everybody has their own opinion and it's okay if you guys don't agree with my opinion. But before we get into the video, I just want to say, join the Discord. The link is down in the description down below. It's made by Tactical Manager TV and Eleven Yanks, one of the most important people on youtube making a community for the usmnt and the discord it's about a community about soccer the usmnt transfers everything you can think about soccer or football so if, if you guys would like to join the link is in the description down below so you guys could be a part of the community and if you guys enjoy this video leave a like let's get right into it First player is going to be Carlos Salcedo, and a lot of you guys could agree that Tricolor and L3 fans could agree that Carlos Salcedo should never be called up again for the national team. There's been times in games where he's been playing for Tigres that he's been giving the ball away around the penalty box or doing clumsy challenges, getting yellow cards, getting sent off. It's just a player that loses concentration during the game and who's a danger on giving away goals to basically the opponent. And for the national team as well, there's been times where he's been giving the ball away around the penalty box that end up being his fault and actually scoring. And I think just there's better defenders like Johan Vasquez, Cesar Montes, and Carlos Salcedo just should never be close to the, wearing the Mexican national team shirt again. The second player is going to be Jonathan Orozco. Now, Jonathan Orozco is a great veteran for the Liga MX. He's a great goalkeeper. He's still playing right now for Club Tijuana. He's played for Santos, Necaxa, I think I'm incorrect, and Monterrey. But there's just a better goalkeeper like Carlos Acevedo who deserves a chance in the national team. Jonathan Orozco doesn't play for the national team. He's a third choice goalkeeper. And I think Carlos Acevedo really deserves a spot with the national team to gain experience and feeling the atmosphere and how much pressure there is on games on the CONCACAF and that will really help him to grow as a goalkeeper but for Jonathan Orozco I think it's just time for him to retire he's been a solid goalkeeper when Mexico needed him to be and it's a great career for him and the national team as well but I think it's just time for him to retire now the third player on this list is going to be Andres Guardado and don't get me wrong Andres Guardado is a legend for the national team almost 200 matches played for the national team but I think it's just time to retire from the national team like there's better players younger players that could just take a spot over the next year or two like Charlie Rodriguez, Vitor Guzman from Pachuca, Eric Gutierrez from PSV and Andres Guardado had his time he's a captain of this team but just like Rafael Marquez there's a time just to hang out the boots and maybe this is going to be his last World up for the national team and he's still playing games for Real Betis in La Liga, he's still playing a high level, but he just can't compete like he used to in five, like five years ago. And he's been getting more injured a lot. And he's not been as critical as needed as a captain. Like he missed a penalty on the Nations League to tie the game against the USMNT. He failed it and I think he just needs to retire. There's better people, better players who could take a spot in the midfield and he had a, a stunning career and I would like him to retire after the World Cup. Um, he's been a solid player and I like I like him a lot, very respectful. And he's done everything for the national team. He's been scoring penalties, goals, and he's scored amazing goals against the USA as well. But I think it's just time for him to hang out the boots. And this what I thought had the best career that a player could have for the national team. But there's just bigger players now and I hope you guys understand on that one. And I know a lot of people love Andres Guardado, but he's already 36, 35 years old. So, yeah. Now, for the fourth player, it's going to be Rodolfo Pizarro. Now, it's sad for him to put him in this list because he used to play for Chivas. I'm a Chivas fan. But the last three, four seasons, Rodolfo Pizarro has not been himself. Uh, after leaving Chivas, going to Monterrey, he was mostly in the bench and coming out as a sub and yeah he scored some goals but he was not as important 
as he was for Chivas and then moving to Inter Miami, really flopping in the MLS. Yes, he does play. He's Yeah, he scores some goals and some assists, but he's a spot for like one of the most important players on that team, and he doesn't really show up every week and week out. And there's bigger, there's better players like Santiago Munoz who he can still play for the USMNT. Why pick up someone like Rodolfo Pizarro, who is not really on his best, who hasn't been informed for like the last three three years, and give a chance to Santiago Munoz? Santiago Munoz just got a uh, move to Newcastle, so he shows that there's there's talent on him, and why not get him before the USMNT does? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what will your fifth player be, and if you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, and leave a like. It will support me and the channel a lot. Hit the notifications so you guys don't miss a video. I'm going to put on the card right now on the screen. My last video, it's about Chicago Fire and their new partnership with FC Lugano. And hope you guys subscribe as well. I'm going to put on the screen right now how much percentage you guys are not subscribing to the channel. So I would appreciate it if you guys subscribe. And comment down below what video you guys want me to do next. Tomorrow, I'm going to do... Or am I going to release a video of the three matches the USMNT had for the camp. And my thoughts and how we played and everything else. And uh, else, I'm going to do a video about La Masia, the Barcelona Famous Academy. So, I hope you guys stay tuned. And peace out.